Today I messed up by stealing Valor on Veterans Day. This happened last night and I think I'm the biggest scumbag in the USA. So today was my first time ever going to a bingo hall. I didn't particularly want to go but it was to accompany my girlfriend as A plus one to her after work social event. We arrived at the event and it's completely packed, I'm estimating 500 plus people, huge bingo hall in Texas. I meet her work colleagues, things are going pretty well. The bingo hostess finally goes on stage to kick off the night, and everyone is hyped. She begins talking but the sound was pretty muffled, and our group starts making jokes about how you'd think they have a better mic. I suddenly tune back to listen to the hostess because there's a long pause in the room. Everyone is dead silent, looking around at each other, but not saying a word. The hostess then says is anyone celebrating? Anyone? Here's where the single worst decision I've ever made in my life comes in. See, I recently went to a hibachi restaurant where they ask if anyone was celebrating a birthday, and we'd pretend that it was our birthday so they'd sing a song. So, for literally no reason, I stood up and shouted me. Since no one else was saying anything and I thought she'd wish me a happy birthday. But instead, the entire building immediately starts clapping. And I just don't mean a decent applause from a crowd, I'm talking over 500 people seriously clapping their hands together. I was so thrown off guard, yet impressed by the massive ovation, that I began bowing to the crowd around me. I don't know why, it just seemed like the right thing to do. After 10 to 15 seconds of the entire hall doing nothing but applauding me, I sit back down and look at the group, expecting laughter and questioning about if it was really my birthday. But instead my girlfriend and work colleagues look confused, and no one's really saying anything. Until one of the co-workers go wait, what was that for? I don't know, haha, I think it was for birthdays. And before she could say another word, that oh no, I just messed up feeling rushed through my entire body as it clicked in my head what just happened. Um, I think that was for veterans. Realizing that I lied to hundreds of people and had them falsely honor me, the group gave me a I can't believe you just did that kind of look, and everyone was pretty uncomfortable. To make matters worse, the hostess would make war veteran references throughout the night, such as saying how the shape we needed to make on our bingo board was a war jet, etc. Also, I had anxiety the entire night knowing that if I were to win bingo, everyone would clap, and I'd have to approach the hostess that I lied to to check my numbers, which would give her the opportunity to dig deeper into my veteran story or even worse thank me again for my service. The girlfriend and I haven't talked about it yet but I don't think I'm invited back to her work events. Also I don't think I'll ever get this jabroni move off my conscience. Too long. Didn't read. Tried to play a joke and received a standing ovation from a crowd of 500 plus people for being a service members on Veterans Day when I'm not in the military. Today I messed up by getting my dick slammed in a drawer. It's a little past midnight, so I'm wearing my pajamas. I suddenly decided I wanted to have myself a nice snack, bread and Nutella. So I walked up to the kitchen and seeing how there were too many dishes that had to be cleaned, I decided not to use one and just make myself a lazy Nutella taco. I got the last piece of bread from the bag and went to get the Nutella. I opened the drawer with the knives and forks and all that stuff and seeing how my hands were full, I decided to close the drawer by pushing it with my groin. The thing is, the tip of my dick was on top of it, still inside my pajama pants, don't worry. And just as I was closing it, I managed to turn my screams into wheezes. I was jumping around in pain and struggling to breathe. Worst part is, I kept my determination and continued to put Nutella on the piece of bread. That's when I started laughing, as I realized what just had happened and how my first reaction was but I'll still have my goddamn Nutella taco. Now. Now I'm afraid to go pee. Too long. Didn't read. While wearing my pajamas, I slammed my dick on a drawer and while squirming with pain, I made myself a snack with Nutella.